As you work on a design of a model, you might find it necessary or useful to change the display mode of the part. The default display mode is shaded, but you can change it to three other modes as well. Select the options arrow on the display mode tool to see all of the available options. They are wireframe, shaded, shaded and visible edges, and shaded and all edges. Just click the option you wish to view. Here I've chosen wireframe. Next I'm going to select shaded and visible edges, and here you can see that the visible edges are highlighted in a different color from the faces. And finally, shaded in all edges. Now all of the edges in the model are highlighted in a different color. Now I'll go back to shaded. You can also access the display modes from the view main menu by choosing display. You can see all the options are available here, as well as the silhouette edges, which are visible while in wireframe mode. You can also change color properties in the reflectivity and opacity of a part display. To change these properties, I can simply right click in the work area and then select color properties from the pop-up menu. The color properties dialog appears. The settings for opacity and reflectivity levels we'll discuss in a moment. There's also buttons for color and color edge. First I'll click on the color button, which brings up the color palette dialog, and I can select some standard colors from the basic color fields. When I click OK, the preview updates to show the new color. Next I'll click on the edge color button. This sets the color for all the edges when the shaded and visible edges or shaded and all edges options are checked. You can create a custom color on the right hand side of the dialog. Once you've specified the custom color, click Add to Custom Colors. And you can see that that color is now listed in the custom color area. To select it, simply left click on the color in the particular box and then click OK. You can see the color preview area in the right window is updated with that color. And now I can change the opacity level, which changes basically the transparency of the part. I can also add reflectivity to the part display. And now I'll click OK. So now I've added color, and I've also modified the opacity and reflectivity of my part. So the Color Properties tool in Alibre allows you to do some simple rendering of your designs. If you need more complex rendering capability, you can investigate the photo rendering add-on that Alibre offers.